Hey, what's going on YouTube? This Southern Nights coming back at y'all with another video. And before y'all watch this video all the way through, as usual, make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Feel free to donate. All my links in the description box, contact information, email. So with that said, let's get it. But now, I pretty much put out a video yesterday to let y'all know what's really going on in this climate right now. Regarding, one, regarding these PPP loans. And instead of me talking about it, I really want to show y'all the a reality that really, what's really going on behind these PPP loans. But I'm not about to only base this video off of that. Although I had to review to let y'all know why I put the video out to let y'all know what's really going on as far as a lot of people get it caught up. I still didn't really know it was that serious. They talking about hundreds of thousands of people did this. I didn't know it was that real. At first, I thought it was like, <laughs> tell you the truth, I thought it was like probably a few hundred people or something like that, but they talking about hundreds of thousands from local citizens all the way up to the the highest apex of government that actually did the fraudulent loans. But you know the people in the seats gonna get a slap on the wrist. You do know that, right? But really, I'm basing this video off the political climate alone because the I'm seeing a lot of stuff that's really going on and now everything is moving towards law. Everything is really moving towards law now because it's a lot of legal stuff that's really taking place in this country, whether it's in the courtroom or whether it's domestic or whether it's foreign, it's a lot of legal transactions is taking place around the world and to my opinion and this is just my opinion whenever you know do handling this stuff legally it's like handling this stuff on a diplomatic scale that's just another form a way of handling situation diplomatically but when the dip diplomacy fails that's when war break out Law is the last form of diplomacy that people could interact with before all hell break loose. And what I see in this country now, I'm seeing a lot of people still not honoring the law. And, and what I mean by law, I'm meaning by jurisprudence. I'm not meaning, I ain't talking about the whole de facto stuff that people go about or innocent to proven guilty because everybody emotional about a certain situation. Now I'm not talking about that particular, I'm not even going to consider that law because you have a lot of people that's infiltrated these seats that's going off of pure emotion and basing the sentencing or the verdict off of emotion. For example, Bill Cosby. But in another sense, you starting to see the last, this is the last of diplomacy that's really going on. Like I told y'all with the Haitian president that got assassinated, that diplomacy failed. Now everybody want to talk and the people ain't trying to hear that. Now everything is going into chaos. Maybe that's the reason why it happened because most people wanted that reaction, who knows. But as you can see, once the diplomacy failed, then you have civil unrest. Civil unrest turned to a civil war. Now you have a crap hit the fan scenario that's on your hands. And like I said, and I think I said this sometimes during the winter, people look at a situation, it's a lot of crazy stuff going on with people right now to where they not taking heed of the actual real climate that's really going on. And by them doing so, 
by them doing that, they missing the whole fact of what's really going on. They they missing the fact that they missing what's really going on right now. And what's really going on, you have a world that's about to implode with complete violence all because you have a certain particular people and power or you have a certain particular people that's selfish and only see their views and nobody else's. Then you have the group of people that the law pertains to everybody but them. Then you have a group of people that use the law against you but cover themselves but don't honor those same laws that they try to hold you to. So you have a lot of hypocrisy. You have a lot of contradictions. You have a lot of this going on right now. And whatever side or spectrum that the people fit on, it's starting to end in violence. Because if I'm not mistaken, ever since I got in politics a couple of years ago, uh, what you call so-called politics in today's climate, I see a lot of people is heading to that direction. The talking, this is why I call this the last of the diplomacy because it's going out the door. You have a group of people in America that try to hold up the laws, but you have a overlay of laws that pretty much circumvent those laws all because it's done under the guise of democracy or majority rules. You see what I'm saying? So, and sooner or later, those type of systems, what some people will probably call a dictatorship, whatever you want to call it, it it's starting to come to a head now. So when you see people talking about your civil unrest, your, you know, crap hit the fan videos, when you see all of this stuff that people are talking about, you got to know the ramifications, legal and emotional ramifications that come behind all of that that caused that climate to begin with. See, people tend to miss that they always say, well, the war started, but they don't tell you where, what happened, what, what got it to this point. Ask yourself, what caused the Revolutionary War and how a whole nation, how did that get to that boiling point? How did a civil war reach that boiling point to where they have a civil war? How the French and Indian War, how World War One, World War Two, and the upcoming World War Three, which a lot of people consider the war of Armageddon, the world that the war that's going to end all wars. Like you got to really decipher what what get what gets the society or civilization to that point where everybody just want to <laughs> say it bluntly, blow each other damn head off with no remorse so that's really something to think about but a lot of y'all already know the answer to that and some of y'all might have a couple of <laughs> reasons in the comment section feel free to drop it because i like to hear those also you know i like to conversate in the inbox also well should i say the comment section whenever i get a little time to look at people comments to see where everybody got to say usually when I'm on break at work or like right now but yeah and hopefully I'm gonna set up the live screens where still trying to learn some of the technology or how the new cause you know they come out with a live screen every five minutes so you got to learn different stuff so I'm still working on setting up everything getting people come on call-ins and all of that but with that said, it's a reason why those wars happen. People just ain't wake up one day and just decide to take up arms and start beating each other on the side of the head with it. It don't work like that. 
unless you a insane person or you have some kind of mental illness or psycho to wear or you flip or jack and high that's the only reason why but i'm talking about as a collective conscious what caused a collective consciousness or a collective conscious of people decide to get up and go to war by the thousands or millions that's something divine there that people don't talk about it caused a, it, it caused a unified field and I know some people hear that in quantum physics it's called a unified field where everybody come together and have the same particular thought but whether you on a on the opposite side or whether you on the the positive or negative side whatever side you on that side has a collective consciousness and the other side has a collective consciousness and if both sides decide to come together as unison and collide with each other that usually calls the greatest wars or genocide in history because it could apply to genocide too what make a group of people people genocide another group of people is it karma is that is the day karma or is it happening under who who knows or whether it happened just to happen to create karma because that's what's really going on here in america people have done created so much karma so much atrocities and here in america america to a group of people or individuals the matter all to themselves the the sins pretty much reach the heavens as the book say the the holy book say healing your biblios the sun book and so people need to realize that we in these times again we in these times again so that's pretty much why I want to tell you what why I want to talk about. You have all of this stuff, so you now you got the like I said, the whole desperation of the PPP loans, and that's gonna cause a situation within itself because when people start getting getting round up, one of those situations situations might go wrong. A lot of guys still won't have fun out there. And a lot of them, those situations could go wrong too. A lot of them might not want to go lightly. And you talking about out of a hundreds of thousands of people facing up to 10 years fair time that probably never been to jail in a day in their life, probably never got a charge. They might get off lightly, or they might get a lesser sentence. But who knows? Federal, uh, federal offense. You know, they pretty much don't give a shit whether you you ain't committed or not. Like you gonna get that that first offense. It might be a little lighter than others for whoever did that or have a felony on their record. But at the same time, you know, usually when you deal with feds, the feds. That's why I say in my video, you, you federally fucked anyway, e either way it goes. You might get a lighter sentence than most people if that was your first offense though, but still feds, you know? And that's basically, and, and but that that's, a, that's small compared to what's going on in the world that, that that's a small situation even though it's big here because a lot of people did it but you have a country over there that's on the verge of civil war right now over there in haiti and i'm not saying nobody ain't talking about it it's gaining momentum now but it was quiet for a few days so now it's like they can't they got to talk about it now because it's unavoidable if anybody look up what's going on in haiti you'll see it for yourself because most likely if you on the computer and you got one of these you know what you call it 
the where they show you the date, the weather, and the news on your laptops. Bling or something like that, <laughs> you know. Pretty much, they're gonna show you that. What's really going on? Might be the watered down version, but you might have to look online to see what's really going on. But yeah, that's just something to think about. I just decide to cut on the cam, you know, do a video to talk to y'all right quick. I was going to take a break today because I'm over here trying to get stuff straightened out over here. But I, I, I can't do it. This is my day off, and it seems like I'll be trying to take a break or at least a one day, but, you know, I still, when I see something, I got to talk about it because it's certain stuff. When I get, especially when I get time to think, I can't help but do a video to share my thoughts about the today's climate and the current events that's really going on. And this video is basically just sharing my thoughts and letting y'all know what's really going on here in America. But of course, I will sum it up in further videos. But with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. Like I said, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for y'all watching. Got more t content coming. So be on the lookout and make sure y'all hit the bell for all my updated videos. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.